It's time for the next BTS vlog. That's right. Uh, I hit the wrong thing again. <laughs> Keep doing that. Uh, hitting the wrong thing, hitting the wrong thing, hitting the wrong thing. Let's try this again here. Oh, we're where we're, 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 we're supposed to be. We're, 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 uh, <laughs> the countdown timer has started. It is sometimes it gets all over the place and, uh, well, it becomes a mess. Anyways, let's give you the time and date stamp here. It is 17 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Wednesday, January 22nd, 2014. That's right. Oh, oh. Our days are starting later, so the vlogs are shifting and uh, accounting for the, um, the migration in time for my day. The good news is that I am working on uh, the next ep episode of Beauty and the Geek. I'm finishing up the notes here. Uh, you can, when you see me adding stuff to the uh, Beauty and the Geek list, you see it on uh, you, on Twitter. On Twitter, uh, you can follow you can follow what I'm doing throughout the day on Twitter. You can see how things are going, where I'm at, what I'm looking at, different things I'm doing. Uh, that's all on Twitter. And when you see that I'm, uh, something can pop up for Beauty and the Geek, uh, then uh, that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on for the next episode of Beauty and the Geek. I might, depending on the amount of content that you have, I'm going to try to do uh, Beauty and the Geek on a weekly basis. Uh, but I don't know if I have enough content to do that. So that's going to be a challenge to see whether or not I have enough content. Uh, if I do have enough content, then uh, I will definitely be doing uh, Beauty and the Geek on a weekly basis uh but that sort of remains to be seen it remains you know i gotta see how things sort of time out and what uh what time we have for uh different things within the vlog within the uh episode within the episode <clears throat> the time limits for the segments uh will determine uh and the, would, would determine how much content I could fit in there. If there's a lot of comment and I have to go over a couple of weeks, then what will happen is uh, that will let me know that I have enough content to have a weekly show. If I don't fill up that uh, uh, that slot in the segments properly, that will let me know that I don't have enough content for a weekly show, and maybe I'll have a bi-weekly show. But that remains to be seen. We're going to work on the, on the assumption that uh, we're aiming for a weekly show. Uh, I think I've got enough content. But uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, what else is there? Other things I'll be bringing in. Uh, I'll be doing some tests, more tests, uh, t uh, uh, test videos this week. I'll be bringing uh, the sound system and the piano online. So you'll hear a bit of that. Uh, I'm not that good. It's you're starting from the beginning again. That you know, uh, I I did um, I did music at the Royal Conservatory of Music uh, when I was in junior high and high school, and I kind of dropped it after that. And then, and so this is coming back to it again. So it, obviously, if you've been away from something for a long time, uh, everything you did know you've kind of forgotten, and you kind of have to do do it all over again. But you know that's going to be an experience. I think it'll be fun to try out. Uh, I've done. So I did a tag in the last uh, episode of BTR, uh, BTRL. I should say the BTS vlogs. The last. Uh, uh, the last BTS vlog, I did a um, uh, tag from Kitty's Mama. 
Uh, that will be up shortly. Uh, everything's still pretty much in the editing bay. I'm kind of behind on my on my uh, my BTS vlogs, but that happens sometimes. You do get behind a little bit, but because the BTS vlogs are not every day in terms of being uploaded, I do have some time to uh, catch up on my uploading. So, we are moving along. Uh, so I'll be doing uh, later on this evening. Uh, my, my notes are just about finished for, for Beauty and the Geek. This, uh, for, to get the Beauty and the Geek done uh, probably tonight and have it in the editing bay tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking at another uh, episode of Ubuntu Beastie Eunice of Tao. Uh, I'm still working on the notes for that. So, the notes are just beginning for the uh, Ubuntu Beastie Eunice of Tao. And uh, I should have the notes done by tomorrow, which means that on Thursday, tomorrow, uh, I'll be going to the studio, the back room there with the couch, to do uh, a Ubuntu Beastie Unit of Tao uh, video. And God, will, and God willing, on Friday, if everything goes well enough and I'm getting my notes done properly, and that is happening, my, mo my notes are starting to come together, together better, <laughs> start to come together better, uh, I will be doing... Uh, an Insta Vlogs uh, episode uh, on Friday. So we will definitely have, uh, in terms of this is the way it looks like, we will have a significant amount of content, more content. Than, we'll have more content going up this week than we had, did last week. And so, we'll, yeah, we're going to try and see what we can, can, can't get done uh, in um, during this week or the remainder of this week. It's still Wednesday. Well, it's, like I say, it's still Wednesday, Wednesday or it's already Wednesday. You're halfway between the week and it's either the week back has gone by very quickly. Whoa, we have only, we're, it's Wednesday, we got to get moving. Or it's still Wednesday, we got time. So both ways work. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this here. I think we'll talk a little bit more about uh, getting to more of the primary notes for uh, the girls on YouTube and where I possibly could take things. Uh, but we'll see. Because the the, uh, the BTS uh, that segment uh, is not going to be done for another couple of hours. Probably between, I would say maybe 11 o'clock or anytime between 11 or like 23 hours. And let's say 2 o'clock in the morning, I should be able to get that segment done. Anyways, uh, we'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. Alrighty. Alrighty. Yeah, that's it. It's time to do another segment for the BTS vlog. There we go. Timer started. Yeah, it's this is the BTS vlog from January 22nd to 24th. Oh, this is the... Oh, sorry. This is the second segment. And let's give you a time and date stamp. Right? You cannot forget that. It is 15 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Thursday, January 23rd, 2014. Yeah. And that means this vlog is going to take us into our weekend vlog, and yay, lots of fun for that. Um, I, wa I was supposed to do uh, Beauty and the Geek last night, bring it, the uh, production notes are more or less finished, I just have to uh, do up some of the graphics, then when the graphics are done, then I take it to the uh, studio, do the filming, and away we go. So, look for Beauty and the Geek this week as well, so that's coming up. And I should be able to catch up on all of the, uh, the, the I'm a little behind on the uh, BTS vlogs. So, uh, I should be able to catch up with that because there is going to be a BTS vlog going up today. Uh, what else is there? Huh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, looking at, into the differences between uh, IPTV and Open IPT, Open IPTV. Uh, open IPTV, as I said before, is your um, your non-subscription-based model. It's basically uh, when you're doing Open IPTV, it's kind of like, like a lot like PBS and other other channels when they were on, when they were over the year over the air over the air channels uh, in terms of the entertainment had to make money off of sponsors, advertising, and so on and so forth. 
for example, uh, there was uh, way back when, I don't remember this, but uh, there was a Colgate hour. In other words, an hour of television air was sponsored by Colgate. And you'd have uh, dishwashing companies and the, the, the detergent companies sponsoring soap operas. Soap operas started off uh, sponsored by uh, dishwashing companies that, that, that they uh, wanted to sell you dish soap and there it was. Uh, right in time, they, they, cre they created a uh, entertainment format for women who would be home uh, washing and they wanted to sell their soap. Well, during that, uh, during those hours of time that people were list either listening to the radio or watching TV, because radio came first, then there was the TV version of the soap operas, uh, you would have uh, these shows sponsored by the uh, soap companies. And so what happens, Open IP TV goes back to the old uh, sponsorship and commercial model while IPTV is going to be based on a subscription model and that's actually what's happening with YouTube. YouTube has now created a subscription model uh, in other words you can get certain channels if you pay a monthly fee for it to subscribe to the channel I know a number of channels are moving to the subscription uh, model rather than, rather than staying with the advertising model the advertising model that YouTube has chosen is a rather bizarre one. Uh, they're doing pop, they're doing pop up in the in the in the YouTube suggestions now. Uh, more ads are popping up. They used to have which was really annoying, and it's still weird for apparently a lot of people because they they're still using the YouTube app. Uh, they pop in commercials uh, before or after, usually before. Your uh, the video you watch. Like you want to go watch a video? All of a sudden, you have to watch an ad before you can watch the video. In other words, you can't skip the ad. And what happens? You watch the ad. Ad plays all right. All of a sudden, you go to watch the video. The video. Uh, the uh, YouTube player comes up with a network network connection error. In other words, you can't watch the video you wanted to watch. All you can watch is the commercial. That's the problem I had on, on Kitty, and Mama, Kitty and Mama's video. Uh, it was monetized with the advertisements to it. And every time I went to watch Kitty and Mama's video, I could watch the advertisement, but I couldn't watch the video. <laughs> but apparently, uh, that's been done away with. Uh, although I hear some people complaining about it still, so I'm wondering if it's still much of an issue out there. Uh, so, but, but YouTube has just recently come up with his last uh, week or so that I've noticed. And I actually noticed it earlier, but I wasn't paying much attention to it. So I went to this uh, uh, this guy's uh, channel. He does this sort of wilderness show. And I just wanted to see what he does in there. I, I go by different channels to see what they do and how I compare it to what, what's, what's being offered. And he's moving his channel over to the subscription model, $3 a month, uh, so that... Um, you don't have to worry about the ads. In other words, the ads are so bad it's driving people towards the subscription model. So, <laughs> that's one way of doing things. Uh, but uh, I'm committed to open IPTV. I'm not going to be going to the subscription model at all. And that means Cyborg Alpha TV and the network that's developing. I'm developing now a Cyborg Alpha TV network. These two things are going to be open. They're always going to be open. You're not going to have to pay a fee for it. Uh, it's all going to be based on the PBS model. So the, what, we're doing, what we're doing right now is we're doing Open IP TV VOD. VOD is uh, video on demand. That is Cyborg Alpha TV uh, on YouTube is going to be on demand. I am going to experiment around uh, with uh, Physics TV, uh, TV on YouTube to see whether or not uh, you can actually broadcast uh, through YouTube. And I know you have the, uh, the live broadcast there. But the question is, uh, what can you do with it? Can you do TV shows with it? You know, in other words, what's the extent you can use and depend on uh, YouTube's uh, live broadcast to really uh, put something good out there? Uh, and that's kind of where the question comes in. Uh, I haven't really sort of tested it out yet, but that's where we're going to go after we do this. After we get the VOD uh, working, in other words, we have enough content on there so that we can start offering a six-hour. Uh, a six-hour uh, schedule uh, repeated four times that's 24 hours that gives us a 24-hour live channel and we'll go from there so in other words we are now we're at the VOD uh, open IPTV VOD video on demand uh, production schedule we're not at the live production schedule yet we're at the VOD uh, 
production schedule. We are working towards uh, the live schedule. That's sort of what, what, what we're doing now on Cyborg Alpha TV. And so you, you can follow this all behind the scenes. This is sort of a channel update. If you want, uh, I'm going to be putting this in the uh, the the uh, trailer. Watch this as a trailer. Um, so Cyborg Alpha TV, if you like PBS, if you like Discovery, if you like your science channels, this is going to be here. So anyways, uh, I, hope, I, I invite you to come along, watch uh, the development of Cyborg Alpha TV, watch the development of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, and watch us go from VOD, Video On Demand, to live on Open IP TV. Alright, take it easy. I will see you in the next segment. For those of you who are watching the entire vlog. Alright, bye. It's time for another segment of the BTS Vlogs, that's right. We're on our third segment. I was supposed to come back later on, later last night to do it. Uh, I mean, well, here we go again with our later last night. It was uh, uh, probably about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning where it just kind of crapped out and that was about it. And there was no vlogging from them. Uh... And it's sometimes the, you, you, when the body needs to rest, the body needs to rest, and I gotta learn to sort of. And that's what I did last night is learn to recognize the, sin, si, the signals that uh, uh, something's wrong uh, medically, and then I have to get to bed and allow the body to repair itself. And so that's what I did. I spent uh, all night sleeping and uh, just got up about a half hour ago. So let's give you a, uh, a, a time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and 48 minutes into the day of Friday, uh, January 24th, 2014. That's right. We're coming up on the near. Uh, uh, we're coming up on the end of the month. <clears throat> uh, and it worked out pretty good this week. That uh, with the way we did our vlogs, that we're vlogging into Friday. Because of the way things have shifted and starting at 2 o'clock, the, the, the vlogs are supposed to be, uh, you know, start of the day, end of the day. But uh, what happens is that uh, because of the way the, the uh, my sleep schedule is, that's not exactly happening. Now it's sort of, well, bleeding into uh, uh, the next day. So it, 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 it appears to be covering three days, but it's not necessarily covering three days because... What will happen in a few hours uh, after I do one more segment, uh, I'll be uh, <clears throat> starting the weekend vlog, the weekend BTS vlog, which will cover the 24th to, ooh, let me just see what, what the 24th to, uh, 24th to the 27th, we'll cover the weekend from Friday to Monday. And that, what happens is that we do have a bit of an overlap uh, with our schedule in terms of the way the BTS, because of the way my sleep schedule swings a little bit, uh, swings, a little bit, but swings, uh, that we do have to, if we want to cover the, uh, all the time we do here, all the time I'm, I'm at my research desk, then uh, that's kind of the way things are. This is sort of the reality of what happens here. Uh, that being said, uh, I think we're on schedule to get this week's episodes out. Uh, I had a bit of an issue with, uh, with, uh, Beauty and the Geek. Uh, the graphics for the second segment, uh, well, actually, for the first segment, were wrong. Uh, I didn't like the way they lined up, so I had to go up and re-get the, re redo the graphics. And that took most of the day yesterday, so instead of shooting yesterday, uh, I spent most of the day uh, re-editing graphics. So, but anyways, uh, we have something special today now. We have a package opening. I got this in the mail. I said we're working on the electronics bench. And this is uh, more than likely for the electronics bench, so I'm going to open this package here like this. And I'm cut it open. And we're going to see what's inside. I'm not really too sure what's inside. Okay, it's got a nice bubble wrap to it. Alright. Right, one bubble wrap done. 
two bubble wrap. It's got a uh, USB cord to it. So I have a feeling that this... Yeah, this is what it is. Uh, let me just get the scissors here and show you. That this, I don't need a scissors. It's got a, it's got a tear away spot here. Um, this is uh, more than likely the Arduino that I ordered. I told you before, uh, I'm going to be getting into Arduino. And it's the Arduino that's going to allow me to do... Yep, yeah, there we go. This is the Arduino here. It's not the original one. It's one from China. I'm going to try it out. And um, it's got all the different packaging on here. It's got all the different pins. And it comes with everything it needs to come with. And the goal here is going to be to try and create uh, metering equipment, measuring equipment with this. This is the goal. This, this is the base for the measuring equipment. Remember I said before that I can't afford to buy a $35,000 oscilloscope to do the uh, research for Tesla, uh, the Tesla work. Uh, I'm going to build it all. That's, and I'm going to try to build it all from open source. And th th this is basically what, you get, what you're seeing here is you're seeing, and this is why I have the uh, symbol Freegan up. If you look to the left here, uh, where my graphics are, you'll see the symbol Freegan. And the reason why I have Freegan on there is because uh, rather than trying to go out and buy expensive Bye. equipment and, and be, uh, you know, be a research institute with a, a billion dollar budget, uh, <laughs> my budget's more along the lines of uh, 100 200 dollars. Uh, that's what I sort of look at in terms of the cost of equipment. If it's within two hundred dollars, yay. If it's not within two hundred, if it's over two hundred dollars, then you start having to think about it. When it gets to a thousand dollars, no way. But uh, basically, anything under five hundred dollars, it's okay. The closer to five hundred dollars you get, the harder it is. The below five hundred, between two hundred and below, no problem. But this was actually a pretty good buy. This is under a hundred dollars. I think this was like 30 bucks to get. And it, this is going to allow me to build uh, uh, my lab. I'm going to build my lab off of that. So this is going to pair up with the laptop that I have over there. And uh, I say yay to that because uh, that means we are now on our way to working on the electronics bench. So we got the, the last couple weeks, we got, uh, a week ago, we got the uh, SMD soldering rework station. That's working operational. Fun, uh, working well and operational. I will do a review on that. Uh, once I get this hooked up and working and try out a few things, uh, I'll do a review on this as well. Do, uh, you know, let you know how things work out. So things have been going pretty well. This is I, I did I, I actually I didn't expect this package today. Uh, it just came at the door. <laughs> Sometimes things come a little early. They come a little early. They come. They have ahead of schedule. So <laughs> that was, and that was kind of good because this came ahead of schedule. I didn't expect it today. And as it, it was very reasonably priced. It was. It did not cost much at all. I think it was like like thirty bucks. And so yeah, I'm happy with it. Now it's a matter of trying it out, and. Uh, <laughs> Seeing what I can do with it. That's so. In other words, we're moving on with our electronics, and that means that uh, rather than just being here at the research desk, at some point in time, we're going to be at the electronics bench doing some work. Anyways, this segment is up. Uh, I'll probably come back in a little bit to do the fourth segment. I will see you then. <laughs> there she goes again. I didn't turn her off, but uh, that's all right. Um, here we go again. It's uh, time for the last segment of the BTS log for uh, January 22nd to 24th. This is the uh, last segment for it because uh, we're going to be starting the weekend vlog in uh, basically about an hour. So let's get the timer started. There you go. Our timer's on. Let's go to the, the date, uh, time and date stamp. It is seven. It is 19 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Friday, January 24th, 2014. That's right. Uh, this is our midday. This is where we uh, end one vlog and begin the next vlog uh, in a couple hours. I hooked up my laundry machine. I've got a, uh, I've got a laundry machine right back there. Uh, I've got it all hooked up, uh, ready to go. Uh, in, in a little bit, I'll be doing laundry. 
Because <sighs> that's how much time I actually spend here. I spend uh, a large chunk of my time, so much of my time, so much of my time here that, uh, well, laundry has to be done. Let me just uh, quiet her here for a minute here. And just, there you go. <laughs> she's one of these. One, she's one of these live wallpapers uh, that I do like. Uh, she's a Hatsune Miku live wallpaper for a AD, ADW uh, launcher. Uh, I found them to be a very good launcher for Android. Uh, they're on. She, they're on most of my Androids like that. So. Uh, I enjoy it. I will be going over them in, in, in Ubuntu BSD Unix, Ubuntu BSD Unix uh, I've finished the uh, production notes for both uh, Beauty and the Geek and uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix Tal. So in a few minutes, maybe even about a half hour, 45 minutes, because I'm going to have lunch in a little bit. Uh, so probably after lunch, I'm going to go to the back uh, room and do um, both uh, Ubuntu BC Unix, Ubuntu BC Unix to tell and do uh, Beauty and the Geek. So uh, look for those. So we are going to be keeping on schedule uh, with these episodes. And that will mean if, because we've been able to do that, because we've been able to sort of keep on schedule, that means we'll try to add some more stuff to the schedule next week. And it's move closer and closer towards Open IPTV VOD, that's video on demand. And provide this type of uh, network for you. Uh, that being said, I've been invited into uh, a project called Project 14. Oops. Sorry, got a hair in my mouth. And I, I met uh, the guy Chris Weir, uh, oh, basically on Project for brought Project 12. Started this two years ago, but I never quite fit in with the group there because my schedule is so uh, out of whack it took me basically two years these two years to really sort of get my vlogging uh, in the proper uh, format so that I can vlog every single day and keep producing the amount of videos that I need to produce so in other words and this is in addition to doing uh, all the research work uh, doing the medical work all the stuff that I normally do uh, is in a, is done first and then the vlogging comes in. In other words, the, the vlogging and the TV channel is on top of the research. It's in, it, it's in addition to the research and it's the way I end up publishing my research. Uh, and because research is the way it is, particularly it's an, uh, my, my work is open exploration, you do need to keep a log out there. You do need to keep your vlogs. This is a video, in the case you're doing a video log. That's what a vlog is. Um, you do need to keep your history, you do need to keep your background, and you're what you're doing is you're providing notes, uh, these preliminary notes, as they turn out to be, uh, so that people can look back and see where you've come from, uh, where all your mistakes were, uh, and so they really can't be as edited, particularly the vlog parts, as you would like them to be. So you really are exposing yourself to uh, the internet, you're exposing yourself to the public, uh, and you're giving uh, people a chance to see not fake reality, but real reality. You're, you're seeing this is what a reality show would be. This is what goes on inside of a uh, private research facility. I am private. I don't get the government funding. I'm trying to do most of that that expensive billion dollar uh, fi uh, research in science and physics uh, basically on a few hundred dollars. And that means I have to go in, I have to build all my equipment, I have to rethink how I do things uh, because I can't go out and, and, and buy a piece of equipment that will show me something. So I have to go in, I have to understand the mechanisms of, uh, within physics and then go from the mechanisms of physics and see whether or not I can take whatever's out there in the, uh, in the, um, in the open source environment, in the GNU environment, this includes open hardware now, uh, and see what I can pull in and how I can fit it to the research environment. So it is really hands-on. It is, there's a lot of risk involved. And as I'm going to be talking about in, um, in uh, Ubuntu BSD and the town, if you're doing open source and you are that private type of environment, you, you do need to find a way to, to sort of fund your activities, to fund your research. And so this, these things become challenges uh, as you move along, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with it because uh, 
e as comfortable as I can be with it because I've been doing this for 20 plus years. And it's just these last few years, last two years actually, that I've had enough uh, guts and the ability to bring my uh, work, my research work, onto the internet in, in, in the fashion that I have. And so we've gone from the uh, the we've gone from the simple the simple uh, web show uh, uh, Big Bang Theory RL. That's uh, this is what it is. Big Bang Theory Real Life to um, the uh, split show web show uh, Big Bang Theory RL BTS vlogs. That's what we're doing now. This is the BTS vlog. But we need a more comprehensive. We need something more comprehensive. Well, I need a more something comprehensive. So because BTR BT. BTRL BTS vlog. The BTS vlog is part of the BTRL. I should say BBTRL. Uh, is my primary notes. So these are these these are the preliminary notes. So they're very loose. They're very unstructured. Uh, no particular order to them. But you need something more ordered as you move towards the documentaries. As you move towards your presentation of research, you need something more ordered. And this or, and so I needed something to represent uh, the wiki, my notebooks, because I have notes, and then from the notes they go into the notebook. Into a proper category, you know, categorized, organized, and this is what InstaVlogs. InstaVlogs is my notebook. It's the presentation of what I have in my notebook. The so you have the preliminary notes in the BTS vlogs, and then in InstaVlogs, what you have are the um, are the um, secondary organized notes, or and it, it could be more than secondary because. It, it, Organization continues and development continues once it's in the InstaVlog, once it's in the notebook, it still continues. The research goes on, and this becomes more and more organized. So uh, that's kind of the way things are going here. Um, as I'm now back in uh, Project 14 again, so you can look for me there. Uh, I'm on a couple other places. I got to sort of uh, remember where I am, and I'll come back to you with a list of where I am. It probably uh, in the BTS vlog for the weekend. That's the 24th to. I have forgotten her. from the 24th to I think the end of the month. And anyways, um uh Democratic Earth. Earth.